keto chocolate cake in one minute is what we've got on the menu today. A few weeks back, we did an entire keto chocolate cake recipe on the channel, and I figured there's probably a good amount of you guys who don't either want to make an entire cake or you don't want to eat an entire cake, because if you make one, you have to pretty much commit to eating the entire thing. So that's why we're doing this quick and easy one minute version of that keto chocolate cake. With that being said, let's jump right into the recipe. So first things first, we're going to get out our food scale to weigh out the ingredients for today's keto chocolate cake. Next, we're also going to take out a small measuring cup because adding and mixing the ingredients for mug cakes in one cup and then cooking them in another, in my opinion, is the best way to make them. Anyways, we're gonna add that cup to our food scale and then we're gonna start adding the ingredients for our one minute keto cake. The first ingredient we'll wanna add is going to be one large egg and we'll also wanna beat that egg with a fork until the yolk totally combines with the white. Now we wanna get out the base of today's low carb chocolate cake, which is blanched almond flour. And we're using this because it has the lowest amount of net carbs compared to any other kinds of flour. And actually for today's keto cake recipe, we'll be using a quarter cup or 28 grams of it. So once we've got that in the cup, the next thing we're gonna do is add some sweetness. And as always, we're gonna do this without adding any carbs or calories by using confectioner swerve. And for today's keto chocolate mug cake, we'll only need to use a heaping tablespoon or 14 grams of it to add the perfect amount of sweetness to the recipe. So now at this point, we'll add some chocolate because of course we are making chocolate cake. We need some chocolate and unsweetened cocoa powder is the perfect way to do this in a totally keto friendly way. With that being said, we're gonna add a tablespoon or five grams of it for our recipe today. And lastly, we're gonna add some baking powder to make the cake rise a little bit and a half a teaspoon of it should do the trick. So now that we've added all of our ingredients, we'll wanna combine them with the spatula until a thick chocolatey batter forms. Once that does form, we'll wanna get out a mug for our keto mug cake, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys, ramekins like this one work way better than mugs do for mug cakes. Anyways, the next thing we wanna do is coat the mug thoroughly with baking spray, and then we're gonna add all of the keto chocolate cake batter to the mug. Once we've taken care of that, we wanna microwave our mug cake, and just so you guys know, I have the weakest microwave ever made at 700 watts, and it takes somewhere around a minute and 30 seconds in my microwave, but it's probably gonna take much less time in yours. However, if microwaves are not your thing, and I totally get that, you can always bake this keto chocolate cake in the oven. All you have to do is set your oven to 350 degrees and bake it for around 12 minutes. So once it's done baking, you wanna remove it from the oven, let it cool down completely in the ramkin itself, and then check this out. Once it cools down, this is what the keto chocolate cake ends up looking like. How delicious does this thing look? As always, for more information about today's keto chocolate cake, check the video description below, and I hope you enjoy it.